Yes, with all the apartments being built, please don't turn that camera off. With all the apartments being built, we have uh, 135 Hancock. You realize that's going to be a, a condo. You have Foster Pasture. You realize that's going to be a condo. Plus, what's going on in Marina Bay? All these condos are going to be in our schools. All right, all these condos are going to be on the road, and it's just what are their tax rates? We're hearing stories like 10% uh, for 10 years of, of whatever their income is. And we're, we're paying whatever's left over, basically. <coughs> and that needs to stop. You need to stop giving all these guys breaks. Are you going to do that? Well, you know, any of these. Are well, you going to do that? Are you going to keep going with well, whatever's Well, there's, there's only one, there was only one um, project that's out there. I don't there know. That's, that is 10% of the gross. Okay. That was put What's out going there on, on, on up on Quarry? What but, about well, that? All these apartments, are they all getting breaks? They're, no, no, they're not. Okay. They're not getting breaks. No, no way. Um, again, let's talk about, I'll tell you what's going to take place with North Quincy. And I, I make sure I have notes with me. It's going to provide $2 million in construction permits. You throw that, that, that keeps our taxes, keeps leveling our taxes down in, in permit fees for construction. Um, it's going to contribute um, $3.5 million per year in state and business tax revenue that comes to the city. That's important. That's important information. Not only that, it's going to create 150 permanent new jobs. Local jobs? Yes, right up in North Quincy. And that's something that's needed. I can't tell you the number of phone calls as a city councilor you get looking, trying to get kids jobs something that I've pride myself in doing. Um, it's going to provide Quincy with $1.6 million in new annual taxes. That's just the North Quincy project. So we could expect our tax rate to go down. Right? Well, it's not. Right. It certainly is <laughs> not. Well, again, again I, I could go to the, the, you know, the, the spiel with, with our taxes. Our property values went up and Let's, let's remember, 17 months ago, I took office. 18 month, uh, then 16 months ago, we were thrown in, I was thrown into a, uh, the part of the uh, May and uh, June where we do the budget. The budget was um, really, what happened with our taxes was, you know, I'm going to say something. What happened to our taxes, set, um, our property value here in Squan, I got killed as a ward councilor. We were the number one office, I mean, uh, I'm thinking of work, the number one city or part of the city. Marina Bay in here got hit the hardest. Our property values went up 17% in the last few years. It's state mandated. It happened. I mean, if, if, if you just want property values to go down and be able to sell to our kids, I, I certainly, you know, I'm hoping to leave my home, if it ever gets fixed, to, <laughs> to my children so they have a, few, a future when me and my wife finally move on. So I can only say, I have to say this, the night before we had to um, go up and and um, certify, I should say the Friday, we had to certify the taxes. Some of us went to the mayor and said the taxes are too much. I'd really like to, I won't speak again. Just can I hear, can I have this out? Because this is, this is really important. Because it wasn't written in the paper what, what went on. Your taxes were going to be approximately 21% more. I went to the mayor and so did a couple of the other councils and said, my ward is getting killed. It's not fair. We put $3.75 million into the, um, into, from free cash, and we paid off a bill that was going to come out of our taxes this year. It saved the average home $100. But some of the councilors didn't want it. They wanted to fight and play politics. This is about playing politics when it comes to our taxes. It doesn't. I have the same taxes you have. I work for the post office. My wife's a nurse. I feel it. I'd like to retire. I can't. 
But that's why I'm here fighting for the same type of blue collar folks as, as uh, here, if they're a blue collar. If you're not blue collar, then I'm still fighting for you. But I'm a blue collar worker that is just trying to uh, do the right thing, and I think I have, especially for Squam, since I take, took office. Thank you. As far as the taxes go, in 2007, the City of Quincy residents were taxed at 10.44 cents per thousand evaluation. In 2017, the tax at 14.17 cents per thousand. So our taxes are going up. Part of the reason why our taxes go up is because when you look at, and I'm not, I just, I don't want everybody or people to walk away from here and say, well, this guy Shaughnessy, he's a naysayer. I'm not a naysayer. I'm just a guy that wants to say, let's open up our eyes a little bit. Let's have some leadership here and say, we're going to have a, we're going to have a bond. We have a $300 million budget. Coming up in the fall, there's a $50 million bond that's going to be raised. It includes $7 million for an animal shelter. I'm an animal person. I had three dogs with my girlfriend, Tina and I, we had three dogs, we just lost one of them. I love animals. A $7 million animal shelter is going to be the Taj Mahal of animal shelters. I'm not against that, but I think maybe we could probably do a Taj Mahal for the animals at maybe $2.5 million. Okay? We have a new park in front of City Hall. I'm not against it. I think it's a great idea. Does it have to have really expensive, ornate sculptures in front of it? And and perhaps be like the, the miniature, miniature uh, Washington Memorial right here in Quincy? Maybe, but now they're gonna go and ask for more money to finish it. I mean, it, it's like, can we just spend our money a little bit more wisely? I'm not saying don't spend the money, let's just spend it a little bit more wisely so that the taxes won't go up quite as much. Because I believe in my heart, and I don't know this yet from experience, but I only know this from life experience, I don't think that anybody out here in the city of Quincy that is paying taxes hates to pay the taxes if they're getting good services for the taxes. I don't believe that they are. I don't think they mind paying for taxes if they're getting good services for us. And traditionally we are getting good services. But it's starting to get off. The train's coming off the track a little bit here. We now have a building commissioner. We've never had a building commissioner before. Why do we have a building commissioner? That's another six-figure job. We're splitting up the communications department and the traffic department. Why are we doing that? It's going to cost us more money to do that. What was the matter with it before? We have a second shift that works at night now down at the DBW. Why? Why can't we call the DBW people that have worked during the day when there's an incident at night? So it's time to like just sit back a little bit, think about it. Where can we spend our money? And if we are spending it to promote tourism, promote the city, promote growth, bring development, bring commercial growth. We need that, because that helps offset. But we need smart growth. We don't want to be spending huge amounts of money on different things. Do we need a new police station? 25 years ago we needed a new police station, and we rebuilt that terrible thing we have there today. Thank God they're talking about a new police station. All for it. All for it. Great idea. But let's make sure that when we build it this time, Instead of leaving the antenna in the middle of it that's been there since the 1950s, we tear that down too and put in a communication system that's correct. Can't we just look at these things a little bit? That's all I'm saying. I think that the mayor is doing a good job. I think the city councilors are doing a good job. But I think that occasionally you've got to have a little bit of fresh blood in there just to say, really? $7 million for the animal shelter? Can we do it for $5 million? How about three? Two. That's all. One. <laughs> you know, the consensus here tonight is we need residential uh, tax relief. And the best way to see that is to increase our commercial tax base so we can provide relief to the residential. You know, in certain instances, tax incentives to commercial growth is helpful. It increases the base, it brings in more revenue, which again, we can use that for tax relief, relief for seniors in affordable housing. Um, I'm not going to talk any more at length about that. I think uh, the other two candidates have 
discuss this tattoo. Let's move on to some topics.